Hi, this is Lisa, the original Designing Diva. Um, I know I don't usually do on camera, but I thought I would today. It's such a miserable day. It's rainy, it's cold. Um, it is the 24th of July and I'm in flannel. <laughs> so it's not a very nice day here. And uh, I don't know if you can see out through my windows, but it's pretty nasty. So I thought I would do something a little different. Um, the reason I'm doing this video today is I just, um, I recently uh, connected my chat, frankly, Fodori, to my Facebook page, um, which is, the, of course, the original Designing Diva. Um, and I uploaded a couple videos, and after I did, I kind of thought, <clears throat> I'm thinking of my friends and people that I know on Facebook, and I'm thinking to myself, they probably may not be aware of what a faux dory is. So what I thought I would do today is um, a tour of some of the different types of faux dories and, um, you know, what you can use them for, the different uses they have, the different inserts you can get or make yourself. Um, so I just thought I would, you know, go on camera, say hi for a change, and um, I will be back. I'm going to hook up my other uh, webcam and uh, continue with the video. So I'll be back in a few secs. Okay, I'm back. Um, I have my camera really high because I just wanted to show you all the different size Odori's together so you get an idea of size. Okay. This is a moleskin. That's a bit the biggest size that I have. This is my mini. This is four by four. This is what I call my pocket. Um, this I call the petite. It's a little bit shorter and a little bit narrower. Um, this one I made for myself. I think it's uh, B6 size. I wouldn't swear to it. And then this is my uh, traditional traveler's notebook size. So I just wanted you to be able to see them all together to get an idea of the different sizes. Um, so this is a, my traditional um, Fodori Traveler size notebook. Um, they originated and they still are um, Midori's. And the Midori's are a little bit narrower than uh, I make. But that was the original, was Midori. And then people started making their own. Uh, and they call them different things. Different people call them different names. I call them Fodori. Uh, that's kind of the generally accepted name. And basically what a Fodori is, is a leather notebook. It's one piece of leather that's folded over. has an elastic closure that's usually decorated. <clears throat> And you open it up, and there's individual booklets inside that are held into the book by elastics. Now, uh, if you get a, a Midori, an actual Midori, um, it's not going to be as wide as this, and it's going to come with one elastic. The Midoris all have their closure in the back. I do some with my closure in the back. I do some with my closure on the spine, which I have one that I can show you. Um, sometimes I do one elastic, sometimes I do two, three. I just made one for myself that I did five elastics. Uh, but the basic principle of a Midori or a Fodori is that it's a notebook. It's one piece of either leather, it can be vinyl, it can be faux leather. Uh, there's laminated ones, there's all different kinds. There's fabric dories. I actually have a fabric dory I can show you. It's a fabric. They're made out of fabric. They're made out of tons of different stuff. And the amazing thing about them is you can make them whatever size you want. You can make them whatever you want to be. Your inserts make your book. So if you want it to be, and this is how your inserts, they just slide right in under the elastic, um, and this is 
actually how you get three books on one elastic. I think you can get up to nine on one elastic. I'm not going to do that today. But there's your three books. And you can make them whatever you want. If you want them to be uh, a 12 month ca monthly calendar, if you want them to be a weekly calendar, a daily calendar, um, if you want it to be a um, an art journal or a regular journal or a devotional or whatever you want it to be, you can pretty much find inserts for whatever you like, um, especially on Etsy. There's tons of different kinds of inserts. Um, mine will fit traditional Midori inserts, which is what most people do. Um, sometimes I make them traditional size. Sometimes I make them wider. I have one that's wider, uh, but they will fit a traditional Midori insert or what most Traveler's Notebook size inserts are. <clears throat> so you can get all different kinds of inserts. I have some inserts on my my website also on my shop um, but that's the beauty of faux dories and you can make them any size you want um, you know if the reason I make them bigger is because you have quite a bit of space between uh, your inserts in the cover of your book you can see what I mean so what happens is if you add additional books to this what's going to happen is your spine's going to grow going to grow like your spine's going to get wider <clears throat> and your covers are going to get narrower so it's going to do this so you eventually will reach a limit as to the number of inserts you can put in your book it's all you know dependent on the width of your book the number of elastics in your book um and you know the size of your closure um but you can get a lot of stuff in these books i um have my my business information in a um, a file of facts, and that's mainly because I had done all the inserts myself, and uh, was using a file of facts before I discovered Midori's, and then I found Fodori's, um, and I just haven't had the motivation to do them over. But <clears throat> I don't think I can fit as much in a file of facts. Of, an A5 size file of facts as I can in a Midori, a faux dory, especially a faux dory I make for myself because I can make it however I want. Um, so that's the beauty of faux dories. And it's such a simple concept. It's just notebooks on an elastic band inside a cover that you can customize any way you want. That's the beauty of them. And they come in all different sizes. So that's my traveler's notebook size. Um, this is what I call my passport size. And this is a laminated one, which is, um, it's uh, scrapbook paper that I laminate. Um, and this has a little dashboard in it. That's the inside of it. And then this is a bifold, which means it has an extra fold that comes over the other side which just kind of protects your inserts a little bit more. So that's another, that's my pocket size. This is my little mini. I love these. I think these are so cute. This is four by four. Um, and they're not hole punched because they are reversible. All you do is take, I'm not going to do it, but you just take the cover off and this reverses to a pretty, um, I'll open it for you. That comes right off. And this reverses to a pretty, um, Aurora Borealis cover. So that's all you have to do is just take the cover off and you can reverse them. But this is, you know, a nice little nice little notepad if you want to keep it in your in your purse or whatever. So that's my smallest. That's my mini. Um, this I call my petite. It's a little bit narrower and a little bit shorter uh, than my traveler size. This is made out of um, vinyl, faux leather, it's made out of faux leather. This also is reversible. The inside is like a rose color. I think they call it baby pink, metallic rose color, but this is a faux leather one and um, it's a little bit smaller. So that's another size. 
Um, this is the moleskin size. It's the size of a, a moleskin notebook. Um, and that, that's actually what's in it. It's upside down, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but it's a moleskin notebook that's inside. So that's, you know, that's pretty plain that's what that one is. But I do have a couple of those on my site. They're, they're a hole punched in there. Um, they've got eyelets. My uh, laminated ones, the bigger ones, have eyelets to, to protect the holes. But that's a moleskin size. Um, here's a fabric one. Here's a fabric dory. Uh, this I actually I made for myself. It's, uh, this isn't available in my shop because uh, I had never done a fabric one before and I wanted to see how it would come out and I wanted to see how it would wear. This is um, made from a um, placemat. So <clears throat> that's a fabric one. And that is the size of my traditional traveler's notebook. <clears throat> this one is what I would call my wide size. It's the same height, but it's wider than uh, the traditional traveler's notebook. And this one, you can see it's decorated on the spine. This one has the closure. Well, the book doesn't have a closure. This one doesn't have a closure because it kind of stayed nice on its own. So I just left it. But this is where, you're, if it's on your spine, this is where your closure would be. This is a spine closure, like that. It looks like that. That's a spine closure, as opposed to in the back of the book. Um, it, I, pref I don't prefer one over the other. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, but this is a bigger size. This is, again, a little wider, so you could fit more notebooks than this one. You would have to use smaller notebooks. These are wide notebooks that I have. Uh, but you, that's a wide size. Um, this is one of my Traveler's Notebooks laminated ones. I think this is so cute. It's like postal print. It's got a little kitty cat. Um, I'm surprised this one hasn't sold, but this is, um, again, I showed you the, the eyelets and so that's a laminated one and that's, they're a little bit narrower only because of the restrictions of my laminator. I have gotten a bigger laminator. Um, these are more the, the actual Midori width, uh, than my width. And like I said, that's because of the limitations of my laminator. Um, but I do have a larger laminator. I just haven't done, yeah, I did a whole bunch of laminated ones. I just haven't posted them on my site. Um, and then this is one I made for myself. And you can see it's, you know, it's smaller than the traditional. You can see the difference in the size. But what I did was I put a two inch spine on it and it has four elastics. Um, this one has, I think, three elastics, and you can see there's the two, the two holes. This one I have four, I think. One, two, yeah, four. Um, and this is a, a my devotional, and uh, I do have a, a actual notebook, the uh, eight and a half by eleven three ring binder, um, that I actually do. You know, I take notes and that's my actual, you know, binder that I use uh, when I'm doing Bible study. But I just wanted something littler that I could keep track of things in. And um, so I'm going to do a tour of my personal faux dories because I have a few. Um, and I just did a tour of my file of that. Uh, so when I do that, I'll go through this and show you what's in it. But that's, I think this is a B6 size. I'm not sure. This is an actual size. Um, I'm just not able to recall off the top of my head what that size actually is. So that's that one. And, um, this one is my personal one also. And this is the Traveler's Notebook size. It's a little bit bigger. And this one, uh, this is the one I did five elastics on. And, um, I'll go through that when I do my tour. So that's that one. Um, and then these two are art notes. 
this is my personal one. I just actually did that during the night, overnight. You can see it on my table and my nails. Um, but this one I did totally different. I just used one elastic and I did one hole and I just worked it around inside so that I had one elastic to put my um, my notebook on or notebook and then I ran it back out and I can use it as my closure. So that's how that is. It's a little bit different. I just did it for myself. Um, I wanted, uh, not that I'm the world's best artist. I am the world's worst artist. I just, I like to doodle and um, I did this cover. This was a, um, the outside was a silver metallic and the inside was a, it was pretty ugly actually. It was silver, but it had purple shapes on it and they were all, I don't know, they were like base stuff. So I don't, don't ask me why I ever bought that leather. I, I don't know, because <laughs> it was pretty bad. So I painted over it. Um, these are Martha Stewart uh, pearlized paints. And uh, the inside I did in a design and the outside I did with this um, picture on the front, which actually, after I did it, I realized it really, it kind of looks like my daughter. Um, looks a lot like my daughter. Uh, but that's my art journal. And this is um, an art journal that I have for sale on my shop. Um, this one is different again. Um, it has a different closure. It has a, the uh, closure through the side of the book. It has a pen loop. This one has book corners on it. And it has a decoration on the spine. It has bookmark. Um, and this is an art journal. It's got sketch paper in it, sketchbook paper in it. And this um, was a, a leather that I distressed. I distressed the leather and then I painted this with alcohol inks and it looks kind of like really old, an old leather cover. Um, and it's not stiff at all. It's nice and um, you would think with the paint it would make it stiff, but it's not. It's nice and flexible. Um, so that's another kind of art journal. Then I have another art journal that I'm not gonna show you. It's big, it's not even listed. Um, it's a tall one I had done um, I had had a re uh, custom order. This was on my other shop, Elba Malcolmy. I had had a custom order for um, an art journal, and she needed. It was a it was a strange size. That's when I had to get the other laminator because it was like, um, it was like twelve inches tall by four inches wide. It was it was very strange. Um, but I did a book for her that came out beautiful. I loved it. I should I should have taken a picture of it. I didn't. Um, and when I did that, I did another one in the same size, but I never listed it. it that one's a, um, uh, it's a vinyl one. So those, for those of you who, uh, were in the know, I apologize if this was repetitive and boring. <laughs> I, I just, I know when I, I know um, people that are going to come to my site, if they come to my site, um, but I know my Facebook friends and uh, people that would, um, you know, be traveling through on, on Facebook for me would not know what a faux dory was, and um, I thought that I should do, you know, a video and and just explain what a faux dory is. Um, like I said, I apologize. I know there's probably, there's a ton of Fodori and Midori YouTube videos. I know there are, and I apologize for that, um, adding to that, to that pile. Um, but I just felt it was something I needed to do for my, my Facebook uh, community. Um, I do have inserts too that I've done that, you know, you, to show all the different kinds of inserts you can have, but I'm not going to go through those. Um, I will show you this. This is a pocket. That you can do. I made that myself. Um, these you can buy. This is, um, I don't think it's Midori. I think it's um, Primo. I'm not sure. But it's a little zipper pouch and then it has a, a place for either business cards or credit cards. A lot of people use these for wallets. 
Um, not necessarily. Some use the actual traveler's notebook size as well. Most people use um, either this size or this size as well. Um, but people do use them as their wallet. So anyway, I, I digress and I, I'm rambling. So I, I just want to, you know, thank all of you who are familiar with Fodoris for being patient. And um, for those of you who didn't know, I hope you learned something and um, I hope you appreciate them. Go check out my, my, uh, my shop. Uh, there's lots of things to see there. But it's just, they're just fun to look at. They're pretty. Um, if you are a planner person, I would say consider switching to, to a Fodori or a Midori or whatever other things you find on Etsy. There's Schick Sparrow. There's, there's a, a lot of people that, um, that make Fodoris. Mine are a little bit different. Um, they're not as utilitarian. They're more decorative. Um, I kind of do my own size thing. I don't follow the traditional sizes. Um, you know, mine are just a little more, I like a planner with some pizzazz. I don't, I, I don't know. Um, I do want to try to start adding pockets and things to mine. I have to practice so I get it down, you know, so they look nice before I put them on my, my shop in my shop. But uh, anyway, again, <laughs> I'm rambling. So I thank you for watching. Um, I hope, you know, it wasn't too boring or that you learned something. Um, and so I'm, for now, I'm going to say bye. This is Lisa, the original Defining Diva, and um, I'll say bye for now. And if I can find my mouse, which I can't, I will stop this video. There's my mouse. Okay, I'm going to do it this way.